Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna try to catch a bunch of mice or rats in the barn with a new bucket mousetrap that I bought on Etsy. It's called the Ultimate Multi-Log Rolling Mousetrap, and it's a really simple design. It's a metal rod with five wooden spools in the middle. Each one spins independently, so we're gonna test and see how good rodents can balance. We'll put some bait in the middle. They'll have to walk across. This one could spin this way, the next one the other way. There's some nuts you unscrew on the end. Let's take these off, hook it up to the bucket, and see how it works. I have our clear five gallon bucket with holes on either side. We'll hook up our trap, screw it down. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Now some of these spin really freely. You can adjust the sensitivity by tightening down the nuts on the end. We want to find a good balance where the mouse will crawl out and then spin. Now I just put a little bait on the middle. This is the peanut butter. And we add a ramp for the mice to go up. Now the mouse will come up the ramp, try to get the bait in the middle. And when it walks on these, it'll get spun and drop in the bucket. I'm curious if this works. We're going to test it out with our pet mice, but first I'm going to put in some padding so they have a soft landing when they fall down. Let's see what happens with our black fox mouse. Our mouse was able to hold on for a little while, but it did drop in the bucket. Good job. I'm gonna take the pad out, put him back in his cage, and see if we can get some wild mice. Now normally with the bucket traps, I add water to deal with the mice. If you don't, they'll jump out. But right now it's winter time, at night it gets well below freezing. If we add water, we'll just have a sheet of ice. So instead, I'm gonna add some oil, peanut oil. The mice might even smell it in the bucket and try to jump in. It's kind of weird, when I bought the peanut oil, it was clear, but at colder temperatures, it turns cloudy. This should be very slippery. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get mice or rats with the ultimate multi-log rolling mousetrap. Last night, I set up this ultimate multi-log rolling mouse trap in the barn, and I learned a few things. The first thing I learned is this trap does not work with rats. The rats will come in, try to get the peanut butter in the middle, but they hang on with their feet, their tail, they don't lose their balance. A rat came all night long, got quite a bit of peanut butter, but did not get caught. Now another thing I learned is this trap works really well with mice. We got every mouse that came. All three are down there. They try to cross, get in the middle, lose their balance, and end up in the bottom of the bucket. Now usually I add water in the bucket to control the mice. This time I tried oil, just a tiny bit in the bottom, but it still worked as a lethal trap. But I don't want our peanut oil covered mice to go to waste. We're gonna feed them to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what enjoys the greasy meal. As soon as I place mice or rats on the beaver dam, the red-shouldered hawk comes by and gobbles them up. And I guess they don't mind the mice covered in peanut oil. Now I tried to pin the mice down because the hawk comes by and grabs them in his talons and flies away. The water's way up, it's not a good place to land. 
and the triggers on the trail camera were too slow to turn on the video when the hawk grabbed the last two mice. I just barely got one blurry image of the hawk with the mouse in its talon. This hawk is appearing in my video so often, I think it needs a name. Leave a comment down below. But overall, this ultimate multi-log rolling mousetrap worked well. It would be really easy to make. And if it's winter time and you have a problem with water freezing in the bucket, use just a little bit of oil. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. Currently, I'm posting videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.